Hey, what's up, YouTube? I just thought I'd do a little video. I'm adding to the driveway like I said I was going to, but they couldn't get the gravel up here today because they broke something on the truck, the carrier bearing, I think. So I dug this out from here. I dug it all around there so I could stick the pipe into the other pipe. It fit right in there. It's in there probably about to the first, you know, probably to the first or second rib. It's in there. That's an old steel pipe, but it's in there. So then I had to dig this out all the way through here so that the pipe would stay level. And there it is. So... Then I used the old track loader and I burned a pile of wood there last night. And then there was brick and ash, old fireplace. I just dozed that over like nothing. So I started putting the driveway's gonna go straight back here, straight up into the woods, around this way, then back around, then come back out in the same, you know, back to the same driveway. But that's where I'm at right now. So we're getting ready to take this up in there as soon as we get the gravel dumped. But the ground has dried up tremendously compared to what it was. It's actually nice right now. But, yeah, we'll get that back in there and put it on a foundation, and I don't know exactly what we're going to do yet. Maybe just blocks, probably. Maybe put some pillars in the ground and, like, two, four, like, eight pillars. I don't know. If anybody knows, let me know. It's only, like, I don't know. It's not that long. It's only, like, 30 foot, maybe, something like that. I don't know. I'll walk it off and see, but I don't know how many pillars it's supposed to have. I'm not a um, carpenter, but I get the job done. I think it's like 34 or 36 feet I just walked it off so but when I walk it off it came to like 33 so I think it's a little longer I think it's like 34 or 36 maybe but that's what I've been doing <laughs> trying to doze me in a spot the ground is hard enough here to where if I just put gravel over it it'd be fine I think it's like clay and dirt I just pushed it over here and ching right back into there but I'm gonna have to go through like any pile of brush I push up I'm gonna have to fucking I don't know it might, I'm going to have to go through and cut the fucking wood out of it and burn this shit, I think. But I mean, if I do doze it into the dirt, it should be fine because it's going to be, you know, it'll turn into like mulch or something, it'll rot. Like there's little sticks and shit like that, but I might just cut a lot of them out and burn them so I don't have to look at them. But we'll see. We'll see where we get to. Right, I figured I'd do a quick little video. Here's the dozer. I just, I've been using it. Here's my old little one. This thing is like... A fucking Lincoln compared to that one like it rips shit up and you can go super fast with it that one's super slow but I started leveling off this shit over here but I had two 10 wheeler loads dumped here when I got here and I ran it back to there the first time running the dozer the only thing I've ever used I've used a dozer when I was young but I've always used that track loader since I've had it but that's what it looks like so far on my way there we go we got the bad boy up on top of the heel you ready to record, babe? There she is. Just ripping some shut up on my bulldozer, boy. This thing is sick, dude. I'm trying to get my driveway to go all the way back there in the woods. Just ran out of diesel, but I'm gonna go grab some diesel right now. I just leveled out everything behind the cabin, all that. That like this thing is fucking awesome. It rips right through shit. But I want to like plow this like old wood, and I tried to burn all the garbage piles, but there's like a. This was my last bonfire. There's like a little bit of wood and uh, ash and some bullshit that's like biodegradable type shit. So I'll just doze it over, you know, like this. I'll just doze it over and run it over. It'll, it'll rot in the ground eventually. But I want it to look nice in the meantime, so. But that's where the house is going, right back in there. Somewhere. I haven't figured out exactly where, but I'll level all this out because my driveway's coming right through here. <clears throat> but I got to get some diesel real quick. But this is how much driveway. I got four loads of, four ten-wheel loads of gravel right here. So that's pretty legit. That thing levels like a mug. There's still a lot more gravel in here that I can push back, but while they're bringing the 10-wheeler in, I'll just keep it nice and thick like this. But you can tell this is like, I mean, this is a low part, and it's still at least a foot thick at the low part. And then over there, it's a couple fucking feet. But there it is, boy. Here we go. I got the spot pretty much just about right where I'm going to put the, the um, park model right in here. So it's going to go from somewhere's in here to like up there somewhere i don't know exactly yet but 
I don't know. I think there's plenty of room there. We'll find out. I'm going to fucking stretch the driveway back. I'm going to taper the driveway down a little bit because it's really super. There's way more gravel than I need there. I'm going to push it back here and get the driveway to go all the way back to here. We'll see if it works out. This is where I'm at right now. Standing on top of my two piles of gravel. There's my driveway. Looking pretty good so far. Got enough room to park my truck and still drive through there. Oh, well, that's good. Well, I was really wanting to set the... the uh, park model today but i don't think i'm gonna be able to because it's too muddy i'm gonna take the dozer i mean this is wet but it's not bad it's still kind of dry inside so i'm gonna take the dozer and level this shit out and see what it looks like and if i can i will if i can't i'll just let it dry up and then do it let's see what happens this is what i did this is where the pad that i put down when i got here there was two big loads right here one two i did it like this leveled it all up like this so that it'll be so we can back that over here. We can back the tiny house right back up in here. And it's all gonna be solid. We gotta drive over it a bunch tomorrow to level it down, but we'll let it dry overnight and then we'll drive all over it and level it down good. And this will be nice solid ground from now on.